Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this lecture, we are solving problem 3.17 from applied thermodynamics by McConkey. So the statement is the pressure is in steam main is 12 bar. It means that initial pressure in steam main is 12 bar. A sample of steam is drawn up and passed through a throttling kilometer. After throttling process, the pressure and temperature at exit from the kilometer being 1 bar. After throttling process, process is throttling. And after throttling process, P2 is equal to 1 bar. P2 is equal to 1 bar. And T2 is equal to 140 degree centigrade. Calculate the dryness fraction. Calculate x of the steam and the main. It means it calculate x1. St stating an assumption made in the throttling process. So, here P2 and T2 are given to us. And after throttling process, the steam are completely dry and superheated region. So, we will find First, we will find H2 from superheated region and as the process is throttling, so H1, H2 is equal to H1. We need H1 to find X, but for H1, first we find H2 because H2 and H1 enthalpy is constant in throttling process. So, first we found H2. Initially, this steam in is, is in wet region. Initially, Initially, the steam is in wet region, but after throttling process, but after throttling process, the steam is in superheated region. The steam is in superheated region, so we will find so we will find H two at pressure is equal to one bar and temperature is equal to 140 degree centigrade by interpolation from superheated steam table steam table so pressure is equal to 1 bar and temperature in degree centigrade, 140 degree centigrade is not available, so we will do interpolation. Interpolation, 100 degree centigrade and 150 degree centigrade is available in superheated steam table, and we will interpolate for H2. So, at P2 is equal to one bar, and 100 degree centigrade enthalpy is 2676 kilojoule per kg and at pressure is equal to 1 bar and temperature is equal to 150 degree centigrade enthalpy is 2777 kilojoule per kg and H2 is required here so by interpolation 150 minus 100 third minus first 150 minus 100 divided by 150 minus 100 minus 140 is equal to 2777 minus 2676 divided by 2777 minus h2 this is simple calculation if we calculate h2 so h2 will be equal to 2756.8 2756.8 kilo joule per kg so we required it as h1 is in is in throttling process enthalpy is constant h2 is equal to h1 is equal to 2756.8 kilojoule 
perfect now we found x1 from h1 so as h1 is equal to hf plus x1 hg minus hf from saturated steam table we can find hf and hg from saturated steam table so from saturated steam table steam table at pressure is equal to 12 bar pressure is equal to 12 bar is given to us initial pressure hf is equal to 798 kilojoule per kg and hg is equal to 2784 kilojoule per kg so foot value here in h1 so h1 is equal to h1 and h2 are equal so h1 is equal to 2756.8 2656.8 kilojoule per kg is equal to 798 kilojoule per kg plus x1 into 2784 minus 798 kilojoule per kg so write this value here 2756.8 minus 798 kilojoule per kg is equal to x1 and 2784 minus 798 is 1986 kilojoule per kg so 2656.8 minus 798 is equal to 1958.8 kilojoule per kg is equal to x1 into 1986 kilojoule per kg and if we find x1 x1 is equal to 0.986 kilojoule per kg this is the final answer and for more videos please like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you